So in a previous video, we looked at the prompt lab and um, uh, the elements that are available for us to work with via the prompt lab in terms of the, the models that we can see here, the parameters that we can pass to models, the code that gets generated for us to be able to invoke the models remotely, um, and the structured and freeform uh, views of the prompts that we build. What we're going to do in this video is now look at some of the examples that are given to us in the prompt lab in a little more detail. Um, in an earlier recording, we looked at the, the meeting transcript summary, and I mentioned summarization is a really common use case when it comes to working with large language models. Um, let's have a look at this uh, other example that's available here in terms of the earnings call summary. Uh, similar pattern, I, I guess, to the to the meeting transcript summary, although I did, when I went through this previously, call this a few shot prompt, where this is an example of a zero shot prompt, so there is no example that's provided to the model when we pass in the instruction and the document that we want summarized. Um, and essentially what we do is we give the model this instruction around the um, the document that's going to follow and, and then our request to um, read it and then summarize. And then this is the document that we ask for the uh, model to summarize really quick. I mean, we can click on this generate button here and we can see that this financial highlights um, uh, a couple of paragraphs has been reduced to just a few lines here through the uh, lar large language model that is this uh, FLAN2 model and actually when I selected this example the appropriate model is selected um, for the example to run with as are the parameters for the model to work with right you'll see the max tokens here is up to 300 to allow for um, maybe a little bit more of a verbose response if needed in terms of the, the summary that's provided here. Um, other examples to, to, to look at then quickly uh, again, in your own time, I suggest you do click through all of these and see how they all work, right? This uh, marketing email generation is, uh, I guess, another c common example that gets used with um, large language model, and that's the, the creation of um, uh, content that can be uh, created en masse, really, and, and, and then maybe, you know, uh, customized by a human afterwards. But, but in terms of um, this marketing email generation prompt, we give the um, model the instruction to create a five sentence marketing message with the given characteristics. We pass the character characteristics in here, um, you know, the company name and some more details that we want to go into these emails. And again, we just click on generate and we'll see that the um, email uh, content is created for us uh, here. Again, uh, because I left this open, you might have noticed that uh, the model parameters were um, defined for this particular example and ready to go for us to, to work with. Um, in a future video, we'll look through the parameters in a lot more detail. For now, suffice to know that they're there and that they are tuned, I guess, for uh, each of the respective examples that we work with. Maybe take a look at maybe one last um, example and, and maybe let's make that the, the q a example here right and, and this is an example of again a few shot prompt because there are some examples that are given as part of the prompt when it's passed to the model um, and actually there's a hint here that suggests that we might want to give at least one example when working with this type of instruction we're working with the llama 2 model here um so again the model changed um for the particular example and you'll see as well that the parameters will have changed um, but again, that's for a future video. Um, we're going to ask for the model to help us um, pull answers from a document that the model won't have seen before, right? Um, and that uh, document is passed in as part of the uh, instructional prompt here. So um, to run this, maybe let's take a look at this in the free form uh, view because uh, all of the other examples that we've run have been run through the structured UI view. It's all the same content here. Right? Structured UI is just really putting visual structure around the uh, prompt as we build it. But you know, you can see that we've got the same instruction. This is the article that we want to pull the answers from. Here's the um, Q and A pairs that we pass in as examples. And now we want to ask the question of the model: Well, why should we uh, use mulch when growing tomatoes? And we ask it to generate the response and we should see the response come through and we do here's the response to the question that we've asked based on the article that we provided the model so that's a quick look through some of the examples that are provided with the prompt lab again i encourage you to go through all of these 
um, run all of these and as you run them look at the different models that are selected to work with the example and the different parameters that are passed into the model as the model um, is run.